Welcome to another Arduino Projects video. This is version 2 of what I was referring to as the dual mode NeoPixel Ring Compass. Not a lot has changed in terms of hardware since version 1. If you haven't checked out that video, I would encourage you to do so where I go through all of these parts and zoom in on the wiring. In this video, it will just be a brief demonstration of the new performance of it as well as a description of the code and what has been changed since version 1. In terms of hardware, the only thing that's changed is instead of a 12 pixel NeoPixel ring, I have upgraded to a 16 pixel ring, which gives a little more precision. It gives you the ability to go north, north-northwest, northwest, west-northwest, and then west, for example gives you four extra indicator positions with a 16 ring, which is nice. That makes it a little more precise. It allows you to narrow the band of degrees where it will line up on a particular heading or directional, cardinal direction. In this case, it's 22 and a half degrees. If you went up to a larger ring, you could get even more precision. You could just narrow that band of degrees down, down, down until you have a fairly precise digital compass. In this case, I'm using 16. This is as much as I'll use for my purposes. But this is in what's known as, of the two modes, it's a dual mode. It has a button under here that can shift between what I call north tracking mode, which is what a normal compass, if you watch the red needle on the compass, this what, in this case for this compass, the red needle tracks north. It points in the direction of magnetic north. Now, assuming there's no iron in the ground, etc. No big electrical field. It'll point to magnetic north fairly reliably. And that's this mode. There's a red indicator on the compass ring and as it rotates, it should track where the red indicator on the actual compass is. We can test that out. We can rotate it. And as long as the red indicator is fairly reliably tracking the red on the compass, which it is, if you notice, there's the indicator on the compass pointing that way. There's the indicator on the ring pointing that way. We should be able to make a full 360 degree rotation and that red indicator will track where the where it'll be pointing in the same direction as the red indicator on the compass. All the bugs are not perfectly worked out. This is only version 2 and it'll dance a little bit if you get on the verge between where it's meant to shift between pixels. Mm, that's just one of the downsides of the 16 pixel ring. The 12 wouldn't do that but you also didn't have as much precision. The more precision you get the less stable this will be on the in-betweens unless you do some refinements in the code. Now, that's north tracking. Works pretty well. And it's been tilt compensated. People will notice that in the code that if we put it in a position where it's not dancing and we tilt it either way the indicator fairly reliably stays in the same position which is what you'd want. I just use the tilt compensation code that's in Adafruit's 10 degree of freedom breakout. I looked at their library, took their mathematics, their calculations, and just applied it to this code. Now we can switch to the second mode by pushing this button and we go into what I would refer to as like heading tracking. It answers the question of which direction is the x-axis arrow on this LSM-303, which direction is it facing at any given time? And to me, this may be the more useful mode. North tracking is great. You can tell where north is all the time. But wouldn't it be even better if you could actually tell which direction you're currently facing, or at least which direction the x-axis on this breakout board is facing, the little arrow on the board? Then you could build your enclosure so that when you're holding it, you'd always be able to tell which direction am I facing. You can answer that question using this paper ring that I've added around this 16 pixel ring. It'll tell you that if north is that way and we're facing this way, well then where are we pointing? Well, northeast at this moment. The x-axis is aligned approximately with northeast. And as we rotate it, we can align this so that the red arrow on the compass is facing north and the red indicator on the ring 
is aligned with north on this paper directional ring. And we can rotate it around. And it's fairly stable, but not perfect. Notice that the compass is a little skewed, the red needle, and that degree swipe of 22 and a half degrees, and it's not perfectly precise. It's like, see, there's a little bit of wobble there on the westerly direction. It needs to be refined, and you could do that with a larger ring, or you can keep refining the code, but you're kind of limited in that if you got 360 degree circle, well, that divides out on 16 at 22 and a half degrees. And I've tried to center those degree swipes around each of these pixels. But a person can take a look at the code, they can refine it, make it better. That is fine. But as we rotate, we can rotate around so that we're, that would be directly south. And it's a little on the south-southeast. I need to do a little more work with this. It's not quite what I'd want it to be. But they're south, and the compass, fairly accurate. Not perfect, by no means. But, as I said, it's the second version. But we can rotate it around, and it'll chase and indicate the direction the x-axis is facing. All the way around. Each of these modes is compensated for tilt. In the code, the tilt compensation occurs before either of the two mode functions are called. So, they're both compensated for tilt. You can pick it up and tilt it. And notice that the indicator doesn't move. It dances a little bit at that point. But not too bad. That's just because I'm doing it aggressively tilting it. But not bad. Right. It's just to give people an update on what this version is like. And like I said, if you want a closer rundown of the actual parts and the wiring, a zoom in on those things, then check out version 1, the video on it. I'll put a link to it in the description. As well as version 1, the description of it explains that this is just an extension of a project that I noticed on YouTube about two years ago done by David Ratliff. And I've just taken his code and the idea and extended it further. I've added an extra mode so that it's not so it's north tracking as well as heading tracking or a heading indicator and I've done the first steps in compensating it for tilt his was just the compass itself with one mode so I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to making more if you found it to be helpful if you take a look at the code and you have some ideas just share them in the comments. I'll always be interested in what viewers have to say and what they think. And there'll be another version where I refine some of the jitteriness, some of those bugs. They'll get out of the code the more and more and more I work with it. But this will get people started a long way in the direction of making a digital compass with a NeoPixel ring. Until next time.